Hi, I'm Joy. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Amplivox Diagnostic 270 audiometer. To turn the Amplivox 270 on, press the power button on the machine. If you want to switch the 270 off, press the power key again and then it will ask you, are you sure you want to switch off? When you turn the Amplivox 270 on, it will be in air conduction mode. There are no hidden functions on the 270. Every function has a button. When you select a function on the 270, an LED light will appear. This LED light lets you know that that function has been selected. You'll notice on the screen that it says THL, Threshold Hearing Level. You can change this by pressing the fourth soft key to ULL, Uncomfortable Loudness Level. So when you turn the audiometer on, it will be set to the left ear. To change the ear to the right ear, press the right button. You want to change it back to the left ear, press the left button. To change the decibel level, use the channel 1 rotary control. To change the frequency, use the left and the right arrow keys. To present the tone, press the present key. On the audiometer, you have the option to use a continuous tone. To use a continuous tone, press the reverse key. If you wish to interrupt the tone, press the present key. You also have the option to choose what type of tone you wish to use. You can use a sine tone. You can choose to use a warble tone. Or you can have a pulse tone. Or you can also have a combination of pulse and warble. If you require masking, press the masking button on the audiometer. Your second channel will be turned on and then you can control that with the rotary dial. If you want to lock the masking signal, just press the lock on the audiometer. Then when you change the decibel level, you'll notice that your masking signal stays at that locked level.